Good morning and welcome back. Well, as you can see on my table, I have quite a pile to go through. I went thrifting yesterday. I went to um, what used to be my favorite thrift store. It's called The Village here in Chicago. And it's kind of fallen off the, off the ladder with me. Uh, I don't go as often because I find that they really don't have a really, really good selection like, like I used to find. And um, uh, I'll go over this haul in a minute with you. But also, I'm filming uh, early in the morning. And if you wonder where I film, I'm in my living room right next to the window. And I try to get as much bright light as possible. Um, so we'll see how this turns out on camera um okay so yesterday i went to the village and i was there for two hours and I'm, I'm i really don't like to spend that kind of time trying to find um some quality brand names and also tuesday is their two for one so that was another reason why i went uh two for one means uh you buy the same color code the color code of the week you get one item free, <clears throat> excuse me, and the other item is half off. Doesn't matter what it is, hard goods, clothing, accessories. So, um, all right, let's get into this haul because what I did was I separated the, I got all blue yesterday, blue was the color. So I separated, uh, this is all blue, if you can see, well, let me turn my camera a little bit more. I'm still wrestling with these cameras. Um, okay, so this pile is all blue. And believe me, I went all up and down the aisle looking for blue, orange, green. And again, I, as I mentioned, it, the quality, the brand names just isn't there like it used to be. All right, and over here is what I paid full price for. And I did pay full price, but I got to show you what I got, which I think they're all winners. All right, so for this pile, uh, see the cost of goods, for everything, the cost of goods was $5.72, except for the Lafayette 148 suit in the back. That cost uh, $13. All right, so the total came to... Let me see, 57 and 13 is what, about $70? Yeah, it came to about $70 total. Um, i got to really slow my roll because these costs are becoming astronomical, and I'm not really selling as quickly as I used to sell. Okay, so let's go over the blue. Remember, um, one is half off, the higher price is half off, and the second one is free. All right, so I picked up this um, So Slimming by Chico's. I'm finding a lot of these pants by Chico's. And they're really, really nice pants. I just sold a pair, um, I think this week. Yeah, I just shipped something out this week. So I saw these, they're white. I'm not a fan of white, but I know there's some women out there who do like white. Uh, so I saw these pants and I said, well, let's go for it and uh, see what happens. So that's so slimming. And I believe this was free because this Susan Graver top, which is a really nice top. And I love buying Susan Graver. She is a little slow for me, but she still sells. Um, and that's because she's on QVC and there are women out there who packed their closets with Susan Graver. So this is one of her tops. So this was half off of the 370. Okay, uh, let me see. Get it back here. Okay, so this would be free. Uh, another So Slimming. Let me zip this up. Pair of gray, um, gray jeans gray jeans. And as you know, Chico's uh, tends to uh, 
uh, dress the larger size woman. And even though Chico's is not my favorite brand to buy, it's really, really slow in the sales department. Um, it still sells. Okay, and this is Talbot's. I need to get away from Talbot's <laughs> because I've got so much Talbot. I've got too much Talbot in my inventory. These are some white jeans, nice size 14. I've got too much Talbot's. I've got about three or four pants and a couple of jackets, and they just are not moving. But I couldn't resist, uh, you know, based on the discounts they had yesterday. Okay, now let's get into the uh, full price. Uh, $3, the Blue Angel, which is an old time, I think is like the 1930s, 1940s with Marlena Dietrich. There are seven of us on Amazon selling this, and this is priced uh, under my account for $12. I think the highest I saw was um, $17. So again, this was $3. Um, now, this is a chance, taking a chance. I don't know anything about this belt. It was $7.20. Um, but I did look the name up. It's all leather. And um, the prices were all over the place. Um, it's, I saw prices as high as like $35, as low as $10. So I don't know how well this is going to go. I've got several belts in there now. I think I've reached my quota as far as belts are concerned. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to leave the belts alone. But I thought it was a really, really attractive belt. All right, this is Tory Burch, $7.20. And it's got some nicks on it. But I'm finding that with these luxury brands, whether it's Coach or um, who else? Nanette Lepore would be another one if it's leather. Uh, buyers don't mind if it's got a few nicks on it. So um, we'll see how much this fetches. I didn't look it up to compare. But um, Toy Birch, I just shipped another Toy Birch out about a week ago. So I'm going to stick with Toy Birch. This is Supreme. Now, I'm going to assume that this is, uh, and it was 1320 I'm going to assume this is the real thing. I know there are a lot of fakes out there, but this is so funky. I mean, look at it. <laughs> Who else would make something like this but Supreme? And I know that Supreme is one of that one of those um, streetwear brands. They have limited editions. Um, and what else do I know? I know I shipped out a Supreme a couple of years ago, two or three years ago. I had a, a T-shirt that was worn, but the guy still bought it. And I wasn't really asking a lot. Um, so this is made by Paxson. It's a small size, it's 29 by 30. Um, but there are some people who just collect this brand name. See how funky that is? I mean, it is so cool. If I was a young person, this would, this would definitely be on my buy list. All right, I don't know if this is a Lily Pulitzer by Target or just Lily Pulitzer, um, but it is Lily Pulitzer, and I paid $7.70, really nice, nice, nice dress, nice summer dress, size large. I've got, um, I think, one more Lily Pulitzer in inventory. So far it hasn't sold, but I'm, you know, I'm patient. We'll just set it and forget it. Uh, Lafayette 148, I always like to find a Lafayette 148 because I can send this to, and look at that price tag, $408. I have no idea why these pants 
a four hundred and eight dollars. I was trying to find um, the material. It feels like it might be a combination silk and something else, maybe cotton or rayon. Large size, but if I can sell it, then I will uh, send it to the real real. The real real always gets my one forty eight, uh, and it always sells. Don't make a whole lot of profit when it sells, but I still make something. It's better than sitting in my closet. All right, now this is a two-piece Lafayette 148, which will probably be consigned to the real real because now this is pinstripe. This is pinstripe jacket um, because um, I, as I mentioned, they uh, it's. Let me show you the price tag. That's ten twenty. Um, really nice jacket. I think it's a hundred percent wool. And um, I don't know. One forty eight just just seems to be doing really really well with the real real. Uh, normally, what I will do is um, list it in my closet, either posh closet or uh, eBay account and see what the traffic is like. I don't get traffic on 148. That's why it's always going to the real, real. And I don't know why. Um, really nice jacket. Okay, well that's gonna wrap it up for me. I think I'm gonna stay home for at least another week or two and not go out because my closet is just busting with lack of space. So thanks again for stopping by. Uh, I have scheduled a um, Posh live show for July the 1st at 8 a.m. And I'll put that down in the description. And also, if anything sells, I will list that in the description. All right, again, thanks for stopping by. Please give me a like button. It kind of boosts me up to the top. And I'll see you on the next one.